I'm used to this now. It does feels normal. Okay. After after long time using you, mm -hmm. at the beginning yeah you feel there's something missing, but uh -huh. now it's now like, it's a f you should be there. Huh? Yeah, mm. I got used to it. Mm -hmm. Sort of sprinting, uh -huh. thing. just getting a noise. Um, yeah, like know. something's rubbing. Mm -hmm. uh, in, uh, I tried it in different gears as well. Mm -hmm. It was still making the same noise. Mm -hmm. And their braking mm -hmm. was really good. It was really mm -hmm. impressive. If you brake, it's really responsive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. I think it's brilliant. Yeah, the wheels are nice as well. Wheels roll. Yeah, the wheels, wheels are really, really a big improvement yeah. from the other wheels. Yeah. Changing between big and little rings yeah. is brilliant. Oh, really yeah. best stuff I've ever Good. felt. I've been last month. I've been riding it pretty much every day. So uh, I got to go, gave it a good workout in all conditions, rain, lots of rain, uh, you know, and, and some pretty, some pretty hectic conditions, a lot of, uh, you know, descending and a lot of mountain climbing. So I, I think I gave it a good workout. I, I think definitely, I think moved forward a lot, uh, first and foremost in the braking. Um, I really think uh, the braking action is a lot smoother and, and the, the braking power seems to be a lot more uh, distributed, kind of over the, the whole range of braking. Uh, certainly, I think also the, the lightness of uh, the gear change, uh, talk, obviously talking about the mechanical side of it, is, it seems to be a lot, lot lighter. Well, I think basically at the end of the day, uh, it just basically you can put one cassette on for the whole year, really. Uh, you can have, uh, you know, all, all the way from us racing with the 11 right up to, uh, you know, anywhere you want, and you've got a, a bigger range of, of gearing, really. Um, once again, I think the mechanics would be very happy they don't have to change uh, cassettes every stage. Yeah, I've been training with it since I uh, got it at News Bladden Kern. So, yeah, no, it's really good. Uh, obviously, there's a few advantages to having the 11 speed and uh, it works really smoothly, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. I really like the ergonomics of the hoods and, you know, the brakes have a lot of modulation and power to them. So, it makes a really big difference and it's nice to use, yeah. And I'm looking forward to using it at the Giro and seeing how it runs. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you've got the 11th tooth. So, you know, you've got better gear combination and, I mean, I think personally the brakes make a really big advantage that you've got so much modulation and just that little bit more power there so you know on the descent you can really use it. So far a really good impression with it and uh, I mean this second prototype is a lot better than the first one so it's going in the right direction and um, yeah the finished product should be uh, really interesting to see.
Yeah, we're in here at the uh, service course of uh, Team Sky for the second phase of new Dura Ace uh, 9000 series. Now we are commencing the test phase with the uh, DI2 parts, the electric uh, shifting interface. And uh, as you can see on the bikes here, we are uh, redoing the bikes that we have been testing with a mechanical shifting interface with DI2, rear derailleur, front derailleur and shift levers. The reason why we started uh, with uh, mechanical first is because uh, it's not two different groups, it's the shifting interface. You can only have a good electronical group set if it's based on a good mechanical platform. We are going to test these new group sets uh, first in the Tour of Poland with three riders. And uh, if uh, that goes well, we will go uh, to the Vuelta with more group sets uh, to, uh, to test on a larger scale in the peloton. You can see there are CNC machine prototypes, so that is always the first step. So we know that the products function well, and uh, after that's done, you will see in the Vuelta more final appearance uh, samples that are already pre-production. But there uh, was no ghost shifting and uh, was uh, pretty good. So with the sprint button, so it was pretty, pretty good shifting here. Mm -hmm. uh, the multiple shift is really nice. When you get a little practice, I'm pretty sure it's uh, okay. very, very more easy. More used to. More yeah. Okay. To, it's. But normally, you can imagine that uh, in the race, this function will will be used. Yes. Yeah. If you go around the corner and okay. and. Uh, you don't need to do that uh, yeah. set many times. Yeah, yeah. you just hold the button when you know you have to slow down and, and stop start. just had it this week so I've only had it for four days a um, few extra gears um, and especially here in Poland we've got some really hilly stages so it's pretty easy to make sure you've got every gear you could possibly need the reason we're testing the new 11 speed bike here actually part of the reason is because the roads here are a bit more challenging than the rest of Europe so it means there's a lot of, let's say, not so good roads with a lot of vibration on the derailleur and the chain is stressed more with all the sand here. So we have to pay more attention to every detail in this race than, for instance, in France where the roads are better. The ergonomics of the, the, um, the grips being a lot smaller as well makes it I feel a lot more secure, especially the roads here in Poland are quite rough, so uh, I'm always conscious of my hands bouncing off the handlebars, but it's easy, it's a lot easier to hold on to the handlebars. It might sound like a simple thing, but it's really important. The fact that you can hold down the, uh, hold down the shifter and it will go through the gears sort of automatically is, I think, really good. You know, you get to the crest of a hill and you want to accelerate and quite often you're sort of pressing the buttons quite quickly but here you can just hold it down you don't have to think about it it's a lot easier and i've played around quite a lot with um how fast i want the gears to shift as well and i know with um myself ian and matt here we've all got different settings as to how like our own preferences so it's really i think that shows how important it is because every rider's preference is different Yeah, no, it worked perfect, you know, um, worked really well and on the downhill with the multi-shift, went over the top of the climb, just held the button down and into the 11 and off I went down the hill, so yeah, no, it was really nice and it was good to give it a good workout and see how it works and yeah, it was flawless for a prototype as well, it was 
it's brilliant and uh, looking forward to getting the actual working product and racing on it next year. It's a massive improvement and it's really fast, really smooth. Yeah, just what we're looking for. Something about the spring on the brakes on these ones. Um, I'm not sure of the whole mechanics of it, but, but it feels really smooth and, and the braking feels really smooth. And, um, and of course they pull you up really quick, so um, the brakes are better. Um, but I mean, you know, hats off to Shimano, they've already got a winning product, they've already got, you know, the best product there is and they're always trying to refine it and you would have thought, you know, you could just rest on your laurels a bit, you've, you've got DI2, it, it's, it's great, it works well, um, how do you make it better and, and, and there's not much to improve on already a great product, so, so they're working really hard here. Yeah, we are now in uh, Pamplona, just before the start of the Vuelta de España 2012. And uh, with uh, Team Argos, who is uh, using our newest uh, group set, the new 9070 Durace Electronic. Together with uh, five other teams, they are testing uh, this new group set in the next phase. After uh, we done uh, Poland with only Team Sky, that uh, went really well. And uh, so the engineers now brought the next generation of electronic uh, parts to this race and uh, so far we have built all the bikes, all the riders have tested it and uh, the 21 riders that will participate in the Vuelta and the comments are very positive so we are looking forward to a successful uh, Vuelta uh, with this new generation of uh, Shimano components. Uh, the Vuelta this year has a, a lot of hilltop finishes and it's, uh, it has a variance of short steep climbs and also long mountainous um, stages so to be able to use the gears and, and the quick shift and also the being able to, to multi-shift more than one gear will be interesting to see how uh, advantage that is on, on a short steep climb and also on the longer climbs. Um, so I think it'll be a good Vuelta to be able to test the, gear, the equipment. I like it really, really good. It, it works perfectly. The brakes are even more sharp, really, really good uh, than, than the ones we had before. 11 speed, uh, I mean, it's, you only have one, one uh, uh, cog more in, in the back than, uh, than uh, with 10 speed. But like today I ride at 28, so it's nice. Uh, I can ride 11, 28 and I don't miss too many gears. First, like the brakes, the brakes is going really, really smooth. The new cables is really good. Then the light that when you when you hold the button in, then if you want to go up and out down gears, you just hold a bit in and then then change more times at the time, instead of you have to push for every time. Um, and then the, the feel the crank is a bit stiffer, but but then we'll see in the race. For the moment, that's what to say. a lot of discussion between riders and, and people if it's really necessary to have uh, 11, 11 gears behind because 10 is already enough but uh, sure if it works like this with the same conditions then uh, it's an advantage you have to run more gear more especially in the steep high uh, mountain finishes you have uh, when you have a bigger bigger ring in behind like 27 or 28 then it's an advantage yeah. Yeah, you even need uh, less power for, for braking than, than you used before and uh, that's also something you have to get used to it a little bit because you tend to brake too hard now because it, it, it works so easy. The brakes, I have, I have the impression, I talked to the other riders who are testing it, it's still again even better braking. Yeah? It's reacting faster and 
hopefully we get not so much rain now in the coming days but uh, we'll see how it reacts in the rain but so far and in the dry conditions it's breaking a little bit uh, more consequent. It feels very comfortable, the, the levers and, and that feel very nice. It's, uh, it's very responsive and, and quick in the shifting and very smooth. So yeah, it's, uh, it's very good. Actually, pretty proud on that. Yeah, I was just riding one time before in the training, and uh, yeah, it's not. It's a pretty big difference uh, when when you compare it to the old Di2. Especially the brakes are really. Uh, yeah, it's it's really a, a big difference when you uh, have the feeling in the brakes, and uh, even the, the the shifting goes so so easily, and I really like it. Yeah.